What we're looking at now is when we're using just one light. And if I were using just one light, the light I would probably use, or light modifier I would use, would be something like this seven foot umbrella. This particular one is made by Westcott, cost $100. Uh, it's, I think it's seven feet, it's either 72 inches or 86 inches, I can't remember. That's not a seven feet. This is 72? Okay, I think it's 72 then. But it was actually on sale a few months ago at B&H for $50, which to me was insane. It was so low. I bought two, even though I have two of these from the White Lightning Company, the PLM umbrella, they call it. So I've got four of these because I love it so much. If it gets damaged, I've got more. But um, the large light source, which I think is extremely useful. So one way to use the large light source is to keep it far away from the model. So right now we're about, what is that, about 15 feet, maybe a little bit more? away from her and if I keep it far away I get certain advantages what one of the advantages is if she moves a little it's not going to make a big difference like take one step away from me right there come back to where you started and I'll take a step forward right there and go back to where you were please right there thank you those movements aren't going to make that big of a difference if I take my large light source and I put it far away from her that's a big difference to what we showed earlier with the beauty dish. Remember the beauty dish? If she moved her chin up or down or she moved like three inches forward, everything got messed up. So when you want to give the model freedom to move, one large light source far away from the model will allow the model to move freely. Then this has nothing to do with the fact that she's not going to crash into the light. It's far away from her. I don't mean far so she doesn't bump into the light. When it gets far from her, something called the inverse square law comes into effect, which you don't need to know, you don't need to understand, you just need to know. Put the light far away, and you're going to give her freedom to move without messing up her exposure. Okay. Now, when I go to shoot in front of this umbrella, I can actually block the light if I stay really close to the light. So if I stay right up on the light like this, as close as I can get to it, as long as I know I'm here, and I adjust my exposure for me blocking the light, I can get a decent shot. So this shot is exposed correctly. Again, if you're looking at one of the monitors here, it looks washed out. If you look at it on the computer screen, the exposure is correct. Now, if there were a way for me to step away from the light and now take the picture, it might be overexposed. But as long as I account for me being in front of the light, I'm okay. So if I stay in the same place, and I stay super close to the light, because if you look at me in front of the light, if you look at me standing here, we can see the light can wrap around me because it's large enough. And it's so funny, I did a video about um, how to use the Ellen Chrome Octabank, which is, it looks similar to this, except my Octabank cost me $1,000. You can get something similar for $100 today, although the quality of light is different. I still prefer my Octabank. But on the Octa I did a video on how to use the Octabank, and a guy, one of the people in the YouTube comments, just like, oh, look at this jackass, she's blocking the light. And it hurts you so much, because it's like, <laughs> like if you think that's the case, why not just ask us a question? Why not just say, hey, it seems to me you're blocking the light. Like, maybe I know what I'm doing. Like, maybe by some crazy chance, I know what I'm doing, and I can't actually, no, but the guy just assumes I'm completely an idiot, and I don't know what I'm doing. No. I can block it if I do that, but here's the point though that, that I think is important to note. So I said I need to be here so it can wrap around me. So again, we take our shot of Melissa, and this shot looks okay, you can see it on the monitor here. We're good, correct? The problem is this. Now if I try to do this and do a close-up on her, if I do this, she's going to be too dark. Yeah. Look at this monitor, she's too dark. Because once I get here, now I'm blocking her light. So it was different when I was close to the light. So if you ever, like you'll see a lot, I put a lot of shoots on YouTube. If you look at my shoots on YouTube, when you see me use one of these, the like Octabank of this, a lot of times you'll see I'm sitting, I'll have like an apple box, and I'm kind of sitting in front of light like this, so I don't really block it, and I can shoot here just fine. And if I needed to stand, I could probably stand and make a minor adjustment. I can shoot here, but I'm limited in that I can no longer move closer to her. I would have to zoom in if I wanted a tighter shot at this point. But she gets the freedom to move, which is a cool thing. If she moves a step closer, a step away, a little to the left or the right, it doesn't matter because of something called the inverse square law. When the light is far away, she gets a freedom to move, so that's a nice thing too when you're using this kind of light. Um, do I say something, Kwana? Yeah, I found that very, the information very helpful when I was in the class because right. I have the um, Westcott, um, I think the 
softbox that's really big, it's like seven foot. Right. And I would put it on a C stand and I would, I'm tall and I would duck under it and like I don't right. want to block the light. But once you told me that the very next day, that's I did so a funny. shoot and I stood right in front of it and it was a big And it did nothing, right. Yeah. But that's the key is you got to be right upon it. Mm -hmm. As soon as you start walking close to the subject, yeah, you are blocking it. under my other light and I would have it like all the way up high. Right. And but you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. So it works. So that's how I would use this. And then the thing again is I have two of them. So I put the two next to each other. I stand in the middle. Then I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, then, I've seen you do that. Talk. Right. Then I can walk right along like this because I've got one here and one here. And we're good to go. Okay. But again, yeah, but if I'm using one, then I have to be a little bit more careful. But certain things you shoot, you're doing like a catalog shoot. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need to get closer. It's just all full length. And one of these works amazing. And get for $100 from either Westcott or um, the Paul Buff PLM. It's amazing. Yeah, so, yeah either one. So, but, but again, I like it with the diffuser. How many First inches is soft. How many inches? It's, what did we say? 72. 72. Okay, so it's 72 yeah. inches. Five feet. That's five feet? Something like that. No, it's bigger yeah, than five six feet. feet. Six That's six feet. Eight, six. I think it's 86. I think it's, probably it's big. I'm pretty big sure big it's big. an 86 inch umbrella. Somebody can Google it on the phone.